Sadly, the world has not succeeded in stopping the genocide that is currently unfolding in Gaza. The international community has largely remained passive in response to these atrocities. Women and children in areas such as refugee camps, schools and hospitals have been targeted. Israel's institutional impunity was reinforced. In keeping with our obligation as a state party to the Genocide Convention, our government has approached the International Court of Justice to prevent the unfolding genocide in Gaza. We have also asked for provisional measures which include an immediate suspension of Israel's military operations in and against Gaza. The commitment to justice and bring an end to the humanitarian atrocities in Palestine resonate deeply with the collective consciousness of the global community. The scale of these actions is reminiscent of the Rwandan genocide 30 years ago. We are here on behalf of South Africa and the global community to seek justice for the victims, particularly children, women and the elderly. We believe that without the intervention of this court, of the international community, we will see the total destruction of the Palestinian people in Gaza. Rwanda stands out as a stem and severe rebuke to all of us for having failed, to, to, for, for the international community having failed to prevent it from happening. Let us not have it live with the same regret when it comes to Palestine. This case presents the court with an opportunity to act in real time to prevent genocide from continuing in Gaza by issuing an urgent injunction.